What the hell you need all this stuff for? What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video today, man. We got a bit of a discussion style video and I figured you guys would get a kick out of seeing this massive collection of my John Cena figures. Now, if you guys are longtime viewers of the channel, you understand the John Cena figure collection. You've been around. Yeah, we got head sculpts up here. We got figures, elites, ultimates, all kinds of stuff. I've actually had a good portion of these for a very long time, ever since I first started my collection. Hardcore getting into WWE action figure collecting in the modern era, you know, Mattel, things of that nature. But John Cena's my go right he is my goat and I have this really long-standing goal in my collection I know it's absolutely ludicrous and absurd but I want to have in figure form elite figure form like one day I want to have a project completed of having every single John Cena attire he's ever worn on WWE television so if he wore it at a live event maybe not maybe he's like some one-offs like Juan Cena you know when he went under the mask in 2011 or you know one of those crazy one-off things I'll probably add that to the collection as well but I wanted to get into just the meat and potatoes of that that long-standing goal but I just want to show off the John Cena collection I figured it'd be fun to look at and just check out all these different things here but down here on the floor I do have my John Cena drawer which also usually goes right here so it's it's this top drawer right here I have all of my John Cena figures except for the ones that are residing up here and these are just all the ones that I have on display so uh, back when I started my collection I mean you go way back on the channel you'll find like my room collections and like I think it's like the first episode of my damn halls or something like that I detailed the collection so there there are some pieces up here that are from that original video and collection but it's kind of wild to kind of see where we've came from but you know it's, it's supposed to be like a timeline that starts at the beginning of his career all the way up to current day and obviously I don't have the room on my shelf which is why I have the John Cena drawer and which is why I have these drawers in general and to give it a little bit more perspective here's some figures that I just don't have room for on the shelves so like my Kenny Omegas my Bret Hart some of my Rocks Triple H's like some of the, like these figures will not fit on the shelves and I don't want to just stick them in a drawer so these are some issues that I'm running into here but you guys know if you were unaware, we are getting a new house and I am going to be moving the entire collection. I will be moving all of this stuff, every single thing in the office. You, you guys have seen a, a lot of it. You know, we've done the room tour every year and things like that, but the room is going to significantly increase in size, at least twice the size of this one. And so I'll have more room to display. But I say all that to say today we're detailing the John Cena Elite Collection, Ultimates included, but I did count it up. You guys probably won't even believe how many John Cena Elite slash Ultimates I have. I didn't include basics. This is all like every single figure you see right here is an elite or an ultimate and so I'm going to detail you. I mean you got fix ups in here you got future customs which is what these are you got a lot of head sculpts you have these hats over here which we'll get into in just a moment but the total number if 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 I search me correctly on my count on my original head count I'm pretty sure the number is at 138 maybe 139 I want to say there's like a couple more like here and there throughout the room but 140 pretty much John Cena elite slash ultimate action figures and I know that's ridiculous and absurd but I mean that's the point of this channel man I wanted it to be ridiculous and absurd because I'm an idiot and so I wanted to you know I, I like to share my love of collecting just action figures in general not just wrestling or John Cena but the John Cena collection is one of my most coveted and most prized possessions like if I had to get rid of every figure in my collection I would try to hold on to a select number of John Cena's but here in the front you do have a couple of the Toys R Us exclusive uh, we got three of those you do have like the legends up here back here is a bunch bunch of ones that have that are headless or armless which are for future customs and stuff they're kind of getting old now which kind of puts importance on getting things done you know for your collection that way you're not in you know, it like they're they're going to probably be considered obsolete is what i'm meaning so you know the, there's that point of it but right here we have how many is it i don't even know it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve it's like 13 elite 100 john cena's right here up front i got a deal on like 11 of them one time and i actually just ordered three more the other day i got like an insane deal on them which is why I purchased them oh actually I just uh, <laughs> uh something just hit me in the brain if you come over here and you look under here you guys will see these this stack of elites right here the stack of elites right there every single one of those is a top talents John Cena let's see so not only we have all the men on card ones as well so we do have these right here which are going to be again future customs and fix-ups of Cena so yeah we got all those so yeah it's crazy it's absolutely crazy I have I have albums like kind of detailing everything I want to add to 
to the collection and things like that. And again, it's not going to be a project that you kind of throw together in a month, right? I mean, this is going to probably be a two, three year process of getting, I mean, not only do you have to get the figures themselves, I don't want just basics, right? You got to track down the elites and the elites have armbands. I don't necessarily care if the armbands are painted on versus sculpted on, but now that we're in the new era and you have these sculpted on armbands for these John Cena figures, now I feel like all of them have to have the sculpted on bands, which is good because I have so many here, but I mean, if he has a look where he, you know, I have all the different t-shirts pretty much. I am missing a few. I want to have every Doctor of Thugonomics look, man, from the hat to the armbands to the jersey to the shoes. I want it to be accurate. So again, this isn't going to be just some project that happens in the span of a week. It is going to be a long-standing project, but my goal is to have that centerpiece in the collection, just a John Cena wall of like every look he's ever worn. And I know it, it may not even come to fruition. Maybe it'll just be something that you work towards and you look up and you're like, damn, I only have like 30% of them. But you know what? It's something that I'm going to work towards slowly but surely, but part of that is just kind of building up elites when you see deals and stuff like that. So if I see a John Cena in person, I typically buy it. Doesn't really matter what the gear is. You know, build up that build up that collection over time. You got a couple of Ruthless Aggression Elites right here in the back. Yeah, you got some, like, fix-ups and stuff like that. You have a one-night stand, Cena, that the hat's kind of messed up. I need to fix up that hat right there. But over here, we do have the Ultimate Edition John Cena, which is probably my favorite John Cena action figure of all time. It's definitely up there. I, I love this figure. So, so this one, I put both uh, Chain Gang armbands on there instead of the, you know, the white You Can't See Me. And then there's the opposite of that, which would be the two white You Can't See Me armbands. So, like, again, this isn't something that's going to be easy to do and I'm hoping that Mattel will give us like some different bases like one thing that's for sure like this elite back here this is the Wrestlemania 34 Wrestlemania 23 John Cena completely inaccurate like the armbands and everything like that but just get it like for a long time he did wear like long cargo shorts that were in the army green color but they did have like camo pockets on it like these don't even have pockets sculpted on the side like hopefully Mattel will come out and they will release figures that are more accurate that will give me some different things to help with these things in the future which is probably going to happen but the basis of these things is getting the armbands, getting the figures, getting the hats, things like that. So that kind of leads us over here, which gets us into our hats that I have. So having so many Elite 100 John Cena's and having so many Ultimates, I do have a ton of those there. You have some of the top picks hats. You got the other Ultimates. And then I just have a collection of Cena hats. And I have hats that I got from uh, from some Chinese websites, like these, these blank hats that are completely blank. I'm pretty sure I got those on like some Chinese website for like 20 cents a piece. And I bought like five or six. It may have even been like a dollar or something like that. But I, I added them to an order and try to get all those, you know, just to add to the collection and try to just build them up over time so that you do have the parts when you're, you know, you're making these. The biggest thing, again, I don't even think it's really going to be getting the figures. Like, you guys can see we have a solid base here. Obviously, this isn't enough to cover every look ever, but it's a good starting point. And then we have, like, some different figures over here. Like, you got the Super Cena. This actually was when he rap battled Rikishi, but I, I think I lost a piece or two to that. I need to fix that. I don't even like that head sculpt. Again, it's just, like, some things that are ever-changing. Like, some different fix-ups. Like, my jersey over here on the Decade of Domination got messed up somehow. I don't know, but I, I'd eventually replace that with cloth. I think we did that on action figure surgery one time just to just to have it, but we have some bucket hats in here. We got some beanies, some visors, so you got some chain gang chains, pendant locks. You got the dog tags, of course. It's just, a, a, again, a long-going project that we're working on. Working with some 3D printers and, and guys that are, you know, good in that aspect. I wish I was good with that and I could just do this all myself, but I feel like I'm going to have to rely on a lot of people to help bring this project together. So, you know, you got it. Not only again do you have to not only do you have to get the base figures but you have to get the armbands right which require decals then you got to get the hats right so you got to paint the hats then you got to get the decals for the sports teams or the hat to match so it is a lot it's a whole lot of processes here but he is my goat he's the best of all time and i hope that at the next house i don't have my collection of john cena's up above everything else because i like to actually have it down more so i can actually see them all up next to each other but i think i've shared about this project before but i've never went into like grave detail about it, but I wanted to kind of like, I, I was going through and sorting it because I wanted to see because I was I was getting into some numbers and trying to crunch some stuff together to figure out exactly what I needed in this next like push to make, wit like I need to lay out which Cena looks I want to make. The next like probably whatever, however many bases I have here and using what parts, trying to mix and match and make the attires that I want to knock those off the list. I was trying to compile all of that. So I had all this out here and I sorted it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to whip out the camera and make a video about it because why not? Because uh, I, I, I share 
share my collecting adventure with you guys. So not only is this like just a, a channel about WWE action figures, it's also my personal life and my personal collection mixed in with it. So I hope you guys didn't mind and maybe you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe you didn't, but uh, I hope you guys did. And I uh, hope you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I know it's asinine, all right? I know it's ridiculous and I know that it's completely off the wall, but what would it be? Would it be off the wall if it wasn't MDT? You know, it's, it's got to be crazy and that's what we're going to do here. But before we get out of here, man, huge shout out to our patrons. Thank you guys so very much for the continued support on the channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in becoming a patron of the MDT YouTube channel, definitely go click the link in the description below. But I think that is going to wrap up today's video, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know, let me know your thoughts. Are you insane? Maybe you have worked with 3D printers to get me to some easier help. Like, I don't want to have to buy a damn Elite 100 John Cena or an Ultimate Edition or another Elite Cena just to get removable wristbands, you know? So, I am working with a couple people to see if we can make some hats, we can make some wristbands and things of that nature to make it easier. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And we also, in those men on card John Cena's, the top talents, we have like, we do have like 10 of these Word Life hats. So that's an extra 10 hats right there. But it's way more, like we don't have enough. We definitely don't have enough. And we haven't even began like customizing them. So this is just the bases. But I don't know. I look forward to the project. I'm really excited about it. And again, this isn't something that I spend a whole ton of time on. But I do try to take some time on it to just little by little when I grab a, a little bit of free time, I'll try to check some boxes off of this. But anyways, I'm rambling on. I'm shutting the hell up. I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. What the hell you need all this stuff for?